Hey guys, so we have this MacBook Air in here today. Um, it's an A1466 model. Um, it came in because it has no Wi-Fi functions. Our front end technicians have already taken a look at it and ruled out any parts as being the issue. So we do know it's a board level problem. So get started on the repair. I'll start by uh, showing you, you go into the Wi-Fi here, it just says, no, no Wi-Fi hardware installed. Uh, so normally the first thing to do in that situation is try a new Wi-Fi card. Uh, that did not solve the issue. So we are diagnosing a board level problem with the Wi-Fi circuit on this MacBook. So I'm gonna shut it down. And we'll start by just taking a quick look at the board here. Everything looks good. There's no signs of water damage or anything. Uh, we're going to uh, just pull the board and check on the bottom side and see if we notice anything that's off. All right, so let's pull the board. So we immediately notice corrosion beneath the board. So we do have some form of water damage. Um, let's uh, put this housing aside here. So off the bat, we do notice uh, corrosion on the bottom side of the board. So that's very likely going to be in the area that's uh, damaged and causing our problem. So let's take a look. Okay, so right here, we have a significant point of corrosion. Other than that spot, everywhere else on the board looks great. Let's switch over to the microscope view and have a closer look. All right, so we can see the main point of corrosion here. And we have some here and here so to start this off let's grab a brush and uh, clean it off see what we're left with All the corrosion is cleaned off. Now we can have a closer look at what's going on here. U3540. Let's check on the schematics. And of course, uh, wireless connector. So this is going to be likely the source of our problem. This guy right here. And this chip is going to be directly responsible for Wi-Fi functions. So to start this off, let's grab our multimeter, put it in diode mode, and let's just check for short. No short there. Okay, now let's just uh, let's test these um, resistors. So... So that one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. So our resistors appear to be healthy. Let's uh, switch back to the scope view and test the um, continuity between the, uh, the chip and these uh, resistors here. So let's switch to continuity mode. We have good continuity there, continuity there, continuity there. So it looks like the test points are healthy, the resistors are healthy. I'm going to blame the chip in this case. Apply a little bit of blue melt. Now we'll use copper wick to flatten all of these uh, bonding pads. 
Um, this cap looks very unhealthy. I'm going to remove it. You can see the um, pad beneath it is completely corroded. All right, let's uh, grab our iron again here and add some flux. We're going to just go ahead and tin each of these pads. Add a pillow of solder to each of them. Good. Now we'll just switch over to a uh, donor board and uh, pull that uh, same component. All right, let's add a bit of flux. We have our new component here. Got the chip installed onto the logic board, and now let's give it a quick clean. All right, so we have the new component installed onto the board. We checked all the traces, the test points, um, checked for a short, everything is looking good. So the next thing we're gonna do is just pop this back into the housing and test. If it's still not working, then we're going to start checking voltages and go from there. All right, now that the computer has booted up, we can check uh, Wi-Fi here. Everything's working perfectly. We'll connect to our guest network and run a quick speed test. So the Wi-Fi problems have been successfully repaired. Everything's looking good. All right, so this is a successful repair. I'm gonna switch over to the display screen and we'll run a quick recap. So machine came in working fine minus Wi-Fi. It said no Wi-Fi hardware installed. Um, our front end technicians ruled out parts. We knew it was a board problem, so we started by pulling the board from the housing and we actually found corrosion on the bottom side of the board in this section here next to SMC. Mostly uh, corroded was uh, this section U3540. When we check in the schematics, uh, this is the uh, wireless connector it's called in the schematics and it's directly responsible for Wi-Fi functions on the machine. Um, we checked uh, the resistors uh, we checked the continuity uh, between the lines and tested the test points. Everything looked good. The chip itself looked like crap, so we replaced it, and that uh, seems to have solved the problem. Everything's looking good. So we'll run some final tests on this machine here um, and then get it assembled and back to the customer. Um, if you're new to the channel and you learned something, um, please take the time to subscribe. and. I thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video.